So, you know that today, I'd be understanding why I saw last night about what happened to me and my shadow. But I understood that the the the, the new Mutant Mayhem movie now has a voice cast full of celebrities. And what I'm guessing that this movie sounds pretty new to have all the logos of their characters popping up, popping up in this weird brick road. As I know, this looks like something out of Bob the Builder meets Jet Set Radio. I understood what is going on with the current situation with the hype of TMNT Mutant Mayhem. Because I know that there are some interesting secrets about what uh, we're going to tackle this attempt to bring 2.5D and hand-drawn animation together in Me and My Shadow. Because I've heard a rumour about how this movie would have looked like. So, Me and My Shadow was a planned DreamWorks 2.5D hand-drawn animated movie that was announced on December 10th, 2010 which would have blended both CGI and hand-drawn animation, aka medium blending. Even though it started off well for its production, that it was eventually set it up to be released on a release date set for November 13th, 2013, in which development of the film started in 2012. For some reason, just because they conceived the idea of what this movie was, it was directed by... None other than Edgar Wright. Even though Edgar Wright, who was fresh from directing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, was going to get his hands and wanted to direct his film in what the development began like this. For some reason, Me and My Shadow revolves around a human named Stanley Daniel Grubb, who is portrayed by Josh Gad, who works in a boring light bulb factory, but his shadow, though, who is called Shadow Dan, who was going to be played by the rumoured Bill Hader, would show up as the genie who could help Daniel by breaking the rules of the once secret Shadow World multiverse. But however, they actually commit a crime in the Shadow World that puts both their lives in danger of all realities of the multiverse of shadows. But Shadow Dan becomes forced to take control of Daniel when they go a massive venture to investigate the crime and stop the Shadow Rip villain, played by Tom Hiddleston, who, who from leading a rebellion where the shadows will take over their human counterparts in the human world, Within the fate of two worlds, the Shadow Realm and the Human World merging together to create a multiverse full of humans and shadows being mixed together to become mutated creatures. But Daniel would somehow try and find a way to win the affections of his love interest, Heidi, voiced by Kate Hudson. However, a timid Daniel must find a life-changing decision to empower Shadow Dan to let go of his fears and embrace life in what they have to, to learn from their perils that can't be whole without a true friend. Even though this sounds like a pretty good multiverse movie, if you could imagine if it was like Who Framed Roger Rabbit combined hand-drawn live action, this would be like combining CG and hand-drawn together at one go. It will be part 2D, and part 3D under its belt. It sounds a bit very cool for what Edgar was going to do. Even though Jeff Jeffrey Katzenberg was also involved in producing that movie, especially Owl City composing an entire soundtrack for that movie. Even though they also hired marketing director Alessandro Alessandro Caloni to get involved in it. Even though it seems to be like a fun idea on a piece of paper. Its production started on February 16th, 2012 and was expected to be completed for March 2016. Just in case they can release the trailer for 
next year for 2017. Even though this movie, however, had a targeted release date of what it was going to come out. Just like Food Fight was going to come out for the Christmas holiday season 2003, this movie was going to come out in the Christmas holiday season of 2018. But I understood what would happen in this movie. As I know, expectations were going so high, well, I heard a rumour back on Word of God. I mentioned that just because I understood about there are a few reasons why I can think of this movie. This movie began its development on March 7, 2014. And what happened is that during development, during the, the release of Mr. P. Borden Sherman, they wanted to make sure this movie wouldn't get cancelled. But what happened is that halfway through that movie, after that, they've understood that when the Penguins of Madagascar bombed at the box office, this caused PDID, I mean Pacific Data Images, to go bankrupt for unknown reasons. And ultimately, DreamWorks would have to hit the reset button once and for all because they ran out of money. And despite the financial failure of that Madagascar spinner film, which caused Madagascar 4 to be cancelled, alongside another upcoming DreamWorks movie that was also called Boo, for some reason, what happened to this movie is that just because Boo also got cancelled for unknown reasons, and what we might make a video later for that, has never saw the light of day as well. And just because out of all those cancelled movies that never got made, this was by far the most intriguously divisive take of what this movie could have looked like. As I say, this only took like, Basically, only six years for this film to be made. I know they want to make this film for like six years. And all of a sudden, what happened in 2016? From reality, around April 2016. That is where we cracked the case on this one. We understood that Comcast decided to acquire DreamWorks. For unknown reasons why they acquired Drewix at NBC Universal, is that it would feel like it was the final nail on the coffin to DreamWorks. As it felt like this was extremely disappointing because all of its uh, key elements would later be used for Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, which came out on the on that release date that, you know. Me and my shadow was going to come out. It recycled all of its key elements that instead of shadows, they would have spidings within a multiverse full of spidings. I know it sounds like the directors were taking inspiration from me and my shadow and used it to create their movie that doesn't have shadows. Instead, it would combine both 2D and 3D together, just like the Peanuts movie and Captain and the Pants, the first epic movie. As if it were like this was a pretty good to attempt to pull it off, I'd say I'd give this attempt something like a 10 out of 10. Because I understood what happened to this movie. It felt like it was a masterpiece that was never was. But with that out of the way, this was me, Soho Karimala, signing off. Bye-bye.